This is a quick video on how to use Format Factory to change your files to AVIs to put them on the digital photo frames. So, the first thing you do is open up Format Factory. If you don't have Format Factory already on your computer, you can go to Google and type in Format Factory Download and then download the Format Factory. You can only use Format Factory on a Windows machine, Macs you can't, um, but I've already uploaded a video on how to change it for a Mac. So, the first thing you need to do is click on what you want to change it to. So over here on the left is video and it says mobile devices, MP4s, AVIs, and you have a bunch of different options and we're changing to an AVI. So we're going to click all to AVI. Once we do that, a new box will pop up in the middle of our screen and this will allow us to upload the videos that we want to change to AVI. So for instance, if you used a flip camera, um, you would save those flip videos on your desktop or in a file folder and then you would pull them in here. So first of all, we know the output setting is OK. So now we're going to add our files. So we click on the Add File button in the top right hand corner. And then we choose the files that we want to change. I'm going to change this movie here .mov, um, and I'm going to click on Open. As soon as I click on Open, that file goes right here in the middle. Now again, if you have more than one file, you can absolutely add more files. So you can do them all at one time. Once you've added your files, you're going to check the output folder and where it's going to go. Right now, it's going in C, Documents and Settings, My Username, and Desktop. And that's exactly where I want it to go so that I can put them on the thumb drives. So I'm not going to browse, I'm not going to do anything, but now that I have a file folder here, you're going to see in the top right hand corner that now the OK button is highlighted so you can actually click on OK. So we click on OK. And now all those files will end up here in our Format Factory um, area. And all we have to do is go to the top left hand corner and look for the Start button with the green play arrow and just hit Start. This will then start the conversion. And it will kind of give you a how long it's going to take kind of thing. So once it's converted, you'll be able to find that document on your desktop and then copy and paste it to the thumb drives. So now that I see it's completed, I'm just going to shrink Format Factory, and now you'll see that I have a Springer Final .avi, which is exactly what I need.